Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd do a commentary today since I feel like a lot of you guys don't really like my Omega videos, but a lot of you guys do like them and they are really fun to make. So I shall commence making them, but today we are doing a commentary because today I want to talk to you guys about some weird things I like or am obsessed with because, well, I don't know, I'm just going to, okay? You have no choice. So first thing is I've been crazy obsessed with stuff that smell good lately. I don't know why, but ever since I moved into my house, I've been obsessed with things that smell good. Like, I have never, ever cared for candles before. I was like, why do people buy candles? It's so dumb. And I'd like go to the store, see candles for like $10, $20, and be like, why? Who even gets this shit? And now I have like 20 just in my living room, and I keep buying more and more because I'm obsessed with the the smell they produce. And it, it fills my home and makes me happy. <laughs> And I just get the scented ones, and not only is it candles that make me crazy, but it's like soap too. Like I went to a soap store, soap store and I've been like smelling all the soap. I went to Marshalls and they had like a bunch of soaps, and I was just sniffing all of them. I'm like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die. But and not only that, car fresheners. There's this this car wash that I go to. I travel like an hour to get my car washed because the car place that I go to has these air fresheners that you put in the vents and they have like a ton of flavors to choose from and I like the vent ones better than the ones you hang, I don't know, I'm weird. And lately I got this, this vanilla cupcake car freshener, air freshener thing. And every time I get my car I sniff and like I take the thing, it's like a thing that you hang up on the mirror, so I take the part that smells good and I put it by my nose and like I inhale really loud like oh my god, I feel like, I swear, I'm just, it's like sniffing cocaine up. Well, not that I would know, but it's what I would imagine it to be because it smells so good and I just get a rush from it. Anyways, another thing, but this, this has been a while. That's really good because this is really weird because I used to be obsessed with plushies, anime plushies. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those stuffed animals of video game characters and anime characters. It was really bad when I was growing up. Like, I had favorites. It was like a Vincent and a Sephiroth from Final Fantasy, and these were like little one foot long um, plushy stuffed animals. And I had an Inuyasha one and a Sanzo from Sayuki. And I was like 14, 15, bringing stuffed plushies to school with me. And no wonder I had no friends and people thought I was weird. But anyways, I spent like $60 on a Sanzo one, which I, my parents probably thought I was crazy, but I kind of calmed down when I got to high school and started leaving them at home and I started to realize how much money I wasted on them. But before that, it all started with Beanie Babies. I was, oh my god, 10 times worse. They're stuffed animals that you collect and they were really popular in like the 90s, early 2000s when I was a kid. And this girl I didn't like at school one time actually brought one to show and tell and she was telling me how hers is better than mine because I brought a stuffed animal too that day. And I just went and you know everyone hangs up their backpacks in like the same area. I went and took it out of her backpack, hid it in my pants and then went to the bathroom and I put it in the toilet. And I was, I was actually scared to flush since I was terrified the toilet would overflow or something and I would get in trouble. And since it overflowed for me several times before, like a couple times at school and several times at home, it was just a huge disaster when the toilet overfloods. Like I, I get, I panic. I would, I would almost die. And like the pee would come out and it would go all over my feet. It's just happened so many times that I was just scarred for life. But thankfully that hasn't happened in like 10 years. But anyways, the teachers saw it later, but no one knew for sure it was me. Like, people were talking, they were like, oh, did you do it? You went to the bathroom last. I was like, no, I didn't know about that. So I didn't get in trouble, luckily. But anyways, another weird thing I'm obsessed with. Okay, this might be not as weird as the others, but looking at cute puppies online. Okay, I think that's pretty normal, but my friend calls it puppy porn. I guess it's, well, addicting. And there's this one page on Instagram with baby Pomeranians, and I call them Pooms, by the way. Like, my dog is a Pomeranian, he's a Poom. And I feel like I'm literally gonna die when I look at them. Like, you know the feels. When you look at something so cute, you get an urge to like shoot someone and eat their organs. Their organs are like candy or something. I don't know, that's the only justifiable reason I would ever think of eating organs. But that's what I feel like when looking at puppies. Like these puppies are just sitting in weird positions and stuff. And they're so fluffy and happy with their tongues out. And I just feel like I'm going to die when I look at them. <laughs> anyways, that's all for today. Comment below and tell me some weird things that fascinate you. I know there's lots of weird stuff that fascinate you guys. 
I know all your secrets. Now comment them below so I can read them. Anyways, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.